the soap lilies and this morning we are going to make a batch of hot process soap and it is one of our Very most favorites. most yeah our yeah. favorites and and one of the most popular soaps that we we do and it's a combination of um, rosemary essential oil which we got from Camden Gray essential oils and fivefold orange which we got from New Directions and we mix them together and we put goat's milk in it and we put honey in it silk today in. we're going to put some silk in it and we are, we are going to do the Kaylin we decided yes or no eh why not okay we'll put some we're going to put some Kaylin clay in it just to give you an idea of the steps you take to get the to hot get process soap, we have our crock pot, which is from a yard sale, and we're going to put it on high and start adding oils to it in just a minute. Um, we have our, our lye from Essential Depot. We always get, get it from them. Okay, we are now mixing our silk, which is we cut it up in smaller pieces because it mixes better. And uh, now here goes the lye. And as you see, I have gloves on and goggles and ready to go. I just dump it in very carefully. And what we usually do, <clears throat> who, whichever one of us is mixing the lye, is um, because the fumes are unbelievably awful on your lungs and stuff. So I, let me just shut up. I've been talking for a minute. I have a towel right here, and I put it over my mouth, and I breathe through the towel while I'm doing this. So. Allison doesn't have anything to cover her mouth up while she films. Yes, I do. Well, not as good as I have. <laughs> so she's probably going to not do this much longer. But we don't want to breathe this stuff or let it get in our eyes either. Time for, I've been stirring for like three minutes. And this, you can see how well dissolved it is. We try to get all the little lumps of um, silk out, but really they go away on their own. So we'll just leave this in here. This is my laundry room. And we can shut the door so the fumes don't come out. Okay, we are <clears throat> in the process of adding oils that so far. A bit of the that's the coconuts. Melting. It's melting, yeah. It takes we we uh we've already melted the uh, palm kernel flakes in the microwave. In the microwave. Yeah, and right now we're getting ready to do the olive oil and it's twenty eight point eighty ounces. So see how good Kathy is. No pressure, Kathy. No, I know. 28.80. No pressure. Mine out. 26, oh. 28. Can she do it? Will she get right on Shut the button? Up. Oh, oh, get close. Oh, yeah! <laughs> we can make anything exciting. <laughs> I know, in our shallow little lives. <laughs> All right, so then we have a list over here. We actually have our recipe from, um, I think we got this one from Soap Calc. Well, we, we... And what we do is as soon as we add the oil, we check it off because, believe it or not, there's been, been a time that we have for either forgotten an oil or thought we added it and added it twice. Mm -hmm. So you do that one or two times. And you don't ever do it again. You don't do it again. So we, we mark them off as we go along. So, the only so one she's going to put the avocado oil in and we'll be... Well, the, yeah, they're ready to go and, the, and our lye is in the laundry room cooling off or doing whatever it's going to do. And really with hot process soap, we find that it doesn't make any difference how hot your... I'm going to turn this off and on again. How hot your um, yeah. lye is because You're it's all hot it anyway. Yeah. yeah. So it's no big deal. But we still just like to let the fumes die down a little bit before we Okay, it. avocado is 4.80. So we will, next part will be, um, now um, Kathy's getting ready to add the kale and clay to the oils. Where in the heck did I do this? What are you looking for? This. Oh, it's in here. We're going to do three tablespoons. Yeah. Kind of heaping it. And you can see we're making notes every time. Like we added silk. We wrote down that we're putting the kale and clay into the oils before the lye. So we make notes about what we do with every batch. So you can see here that like for this particular soap, we take the total water amount and reduce it a bit. And um, part of it is the goat's milk and part of it is the honey and they go in after it finishes cooking. So you'll see with this batch that it looks a little dry um, until the very end. All right, so now we are going to mix this in because the last batch we did, this deep blue sea or whatever we mm -hmm. called it, um, we forgot no, to add the clay. No, we didn't forget. I, Kathy, 
No, I didn't know that. <laughs> well, that's right. It's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> this just helps mix it up because, as you can see, it's powdery. It's very powdery. So we just mix it in the oils and it doesn't hurt anything. Don't worry about it. I managed to slop it all over the top of the crock pot no, too. You which, um, spatulize it. Well, I'm trying to, so we don't have clay dropping in out of outer space. <laughs> Ooh, oh, Tippy's got a. Kind of, I, I kind of go by what's clinging to the side. What do you mean? Well, oh, you can see, see, you can still see, yeah, you can still see pieces. We, yeah. Okay, and I got the little handy dandy, and we're basically at 113, 114, you know, something in that neighborhood in the crock pot. And it'll get it'll, hotter. It'll get, it's yeah. But I think that's pretty much mixed. What do you think? I completely agree. And our, our lye is 136. And it's been sitting there for what, 30 minutes? Yeah, 30 minutes or so. So I, what I'm going to do is very gently, you can see if you look closely. Is it clean? Yeah, it's, it just has oil on it. The um, silk's pretty much all dissolved. If you look really, really closely, don't you dare drop my phone in there. <laughs> yeah, um, you can see little fibers, but by the time the soap gets done, it's like, you can't tell. So I'm going to put this somewhere where I can use it. And Kathy uses a, more silk than I do when I, when I do silk. I know, so I like my silk. She loves that silk. All right, here we go. Safety first. No, yeah, yeah. And a lot of people pour against the um, stick blender or a spatula mainly so you don't just drop the soap in there and have it splash up on you because you do not want this lye splashing on your body. No, no, not at all. Um, and also, you don't want to create a bunch of air bubbles. No. Pour it in. Glock dirty. Right. That's a word. All right, I'll put that over there for now, and here we go. See, right there, that splash out. That's where you're careful. What's going on right now in this little crock pot is that it's emulsifying. And you can Which see just it's means much. That we're getting them evenly. Right. The two mi mixtures evenly combined. Right. And um, you probably can't tell from the video, but it is getting thicker. Now you can see it's definitely getting thicker. Mm -hmm. We're not where we want to be yet. And whenever you take your stick blender out and you put it back in, always kind of, we call it burping it, because you might get an air bubble in there and you don't want any air bubbles if you can help it. Really, we probably need a little bit bigger crock pot for this recipe, but yeah. we keep an eye on it and keep it stirred down. See, it's definitely thickening up now, Maybe and we, we have oh, we have trace. I don't know if you can see it on the top of the. I can see it over here. Can you see it out on the on yours, on your side? Yes. When you trace is basically when you do this, you have a pattern on top of the soap, and and you have light trace, medium trace, thick trace. See, it's really getting thick. And, and different soapers have different That's ways true. of doing this it. That's true. This is just how we do a, it. Because a lot of hot process soapers don't mix until it's really, really thick trays. Right. They just we. This is how we do it. So it works for us. So yippee. Okay. And there's a little air bubble. In. Oh, yeah, well, you see, it's see. very thick now, but it still has air bubbles. Yay for modern stick blenders. Oh my goodness, can you imagine standing outside in front of a fire? Stirring and stirring, stirring all stirring. day long and, and rendering the lye out of the ashes in the water. Oh, mm -hmm. there's something to be said for being born in this, this time. time period. All right, now, finger off the blender. So we don't pop the button. Pop the button. Yeah. yeah. 
some stick blenders have a thing where you can release the this thing. Ours does not because it's an older model. Is it like 1984? Something. We got it. I got it at a yard sale. It was still in the original box and had never been used. It's probably made really, really well too. Yeah. All right. So now this, and I said so now. But anyway, this is where we're going to do. We're going to let it sit here for 15 minutes. No. Well, we do yeah. it 30 minutes. But we'll check. This yeah, we'll check it in 15. Yeah, we're going to check it in 15 because we don't want it to. Batch. And here goes the lid, and we'll be back in 15 minutes or so. Okay, the timer went off. 15 minutes has gone by, and if you look, I'm trying not to get the shadow you know, around the edge. You can see it starting. You can to see go. over here, right on the edge, it's starting to turn different color, which is gel. Over here, you can really see it on that side. So we're just going to let it cook away. We put the timer on for 15 more minutes, and um, we'll just let it go, and then we'll be back in 15 more minutes. Okay, I've already mixed the, um, it's, it's nurture soap, moss green, which we put into a different container, and I've got it in some safflower oil, and that's all ready to go. And now I've already got my rosemary in here, and I'm going to try, go back to zero, are we going to do it? To do it together. Okay. So I need two of this, which is the orange. And then using this helps keep it go right down the skewer into the... So thing. we don't get drips down the side of the right. bottle. Uh, seven, five, eight. Uh, 2.05. That's, that's, that's all right. Yep. And that is our essential oils that will go in this puppy when it is done. And there. Okay. And you can see how it definitely changes the color. So we'll take a cup of the, um, the uncolored batter out, stick it in there, then or do we? Yeah, and then we whip this all in there in the batter. So this stays green. Yeah. So this little bit will be unscented just so it doesn't turn orange. Right. And um, then we'll swirl it back in. Right. So all we need to do is have our soap get done. I'm gonna go get the, the so you stuff. Can see, yeah, whatever it is. we got about three more minutes until the timer dings, and maybe you can see because there's so much condensation on the lid. And this right here is our magic. You can pronounce it. I can't. We call it the the pea stuff because we can't pronounce it, but it's phenolphthalein. Listen to you. Get those glasses on. Make you so smart. And not hang on, hang on. I think I added a syllable. Pheno. Phenophthalene. 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 It's the pea stuff. Yeah. Anyhow, we we bought this some. I don't know where we. I don't know where we got it. You can find it online. I think we found that on Amazon. And before before we used to do what we call the zap test, where we'd literally go in here and get a thing and put it on our tongue, and if it zapped us, it wasn't ready, and it was very painful. Yeah. And not that hot. And not that accurate either. Then we also did. The pH sticks, those are a waste of time and money. They don't work. I mean, I, we just, we didn't like we them at all. We got frustrated with those. We did. So this stuff, if it turns pink, it is not done because it shows, I guess, active lie. Mm -hmm. If it does not show pink, that baby's cooked. So we love this stuff. Mm -hmm. We love it. Saved our tongues. So. And what we've discovered to use this stuff, you want to make sure that you don't use the spatula that you started with. Because the uncooked bit of soap will be on there and mix with it, and you'll get a, a pink a false reaction. reaction. Yeah. And here's our, you can see our four little directions take a beating. There's oil all over it, and, but we don't care. No. Uh, that's for the test, because we're going to test it at 30 minutes and see. Um, no, 18, 17 seconds. See how it does. Uh, okay, and you can see it's completely gelled, it's a completely different color, and hopefully. I always scrape all the water out of the lid. Yeah. I mean, because we love water. Okay, and there's our thing. And and remember, we have to add um, the rest of the liquid after it's done. Right. I'm gonna step back and turn off the timer. Okay. So it is much thicker than it normally is, but it is. It's basically so. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is take a. Do I want to take and try it now? See if it's done. Really okay, let's see if it's done. I keep sticking my elbow in my face. I know, I'm sorry. It's hard to hold on to this thing because yeah, it's, it's very warm. Oh, I figured I was going to do this. Right now we are at 200 point. Uh, right at 200, basically. So it, it does heat up, as you know. And in a minute we're going to add our honey. 
which we added three ounces of distilled water to a tablespoon and a three quarters of our local honey, which we actually went up and got at our local honey place. All right, now here's this. There. And we'll see what happens with that one. That's done. All right, now we're going to add our honey water, mm -hmm. which is. And if you've never added honey water to hot soap, it smells horrible. Yeah, it's kind of a, almost a fishy smell. Yeah, it's not a good smell. But this is going to make this soap. Ooh, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. It's really hot because it's boiling in the bottom there. Maybe I should take this thing out of this. Mm -hmm. You can see around the edges where it's literally sizzling. Mm -hmm. This helps cool it down a little bit though. And the next thing we're going to stir in is the goat's milk, the frozen goat's milk. Because the orange essential oil, if you worry about flash points, has a pretty low flash point. Yeah. And we, there have been times we've literally sat here for stirring and cooling. Ever! Yeah. Which we don't really worry about that too much anymore because it, it, we don't seem to have a problem with it right now. That's in there. Let me get your goat's milk. Yeah, here I go get it. There's our frozen goat's milk. And, and we know you freeze it if you're going to mix it with the lye because you don't want it to scorch, but we freeze it also to keep it from burning, getting too hot. And then the surface is so hot it melts it and makes it easier to stir in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is really frozen. Yeah, this is when I'll pop it off and hit myself in the face with it. Mm -hmm. So then we mix this up, and this is going to substantially give us more. Yeah. All the um, goat's milk is now thoroughly mixed in here, but you can see how shiny and it just looks great. Now with, it's with, more fluid. And yeah. So what we're going to do is take out about a cup, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, two measures. All right, and this goes in here, two, and maybe three. I just completely shouldn't have done that, but I did it. Uh, because I used Oh, now you got burning in there. Yep. And, that's gonna, and then this is going to have to go in here pretty quick. So here this goes. And notice we didn't pay attention to the flash point. Nope, we're not going to worry about it because we don't care. Well, we care, but we don't, we're don't. we not going to... At this point, there's not much we can do about it. Let's see how it changes the color of the soap because of that orange mm -hmm. essential oil. And it's it's kind of interesting sometimes when you're doing this to see that you really have to mix and mix and mix yeah. and mix and mix to make sure it's all to make sure it's even. I, I put it back in the crock just to keep it warm because yeah. it it actually it begins to cool off pretty quickly and then it gets thicker and harder. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about that stuff. Oh, green. Yeah. And you can actually come in here and you can see where there's no scent in some of this already. So I'm trying to get all of it mixed together. There's another little bit of white right there. Oh, that smells good now. I think we just about ugh, got it. So now in goes this. And happily, it's still. That's our rosemary. 
<laughs> and this is our orange. And then we just do what we call a in the pot, an in the in the pot swirl. I'm trying to say I can't speak. I'm impressed with how you're talking and working at the same time. I am. I know. But, um, yeah. See, you'll say that now. I'm completely screwed up now. We really don't like to waste a, a smidge of this stuff no. because it's uh, expensive. Yeah. I don't know why I whispered that. Anybody that does this knows it's expensive. And here's our in the pot swirl, which incorporates the green as the rosemary and the yellow. Oops, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, I can step back. And that's just about all we want to do. And into the mold. <clears throat> which comes from Brambleberry, the liner and the mold. And she slaps it in there like that because we want to make sure that it doesn't have any air bubbles trapped in there. Oops. Yeah. This is actually the fun part. Well, we've... Some, we've had occasions when it's literally slapped out on the floor. Yeah. So we try to keep it in the mold, but sometimes we get a little enthusiastic with our yeah, it's a little slapping. There's a big bunch of green down here, so I'm gonna mix it. And then that you have watched us make a batch of hot process soap. We've got its milk, honey, silk, kale, and clay. That's right. All kinds of stuff in this stuff. Several different kinds of oils. And then what we usually do is when we're finishing up the crock pot, since this, uh, I really don't even need gloves on, but I have them on from earlier, is we will take a stiff spatula and peel out the uh, remaining batter that is left in here and make a little bonus bar of soap, which we use. For ourselves, yeah. <laughs> And okay, here goes. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and then I'm going to try to smooth it a little bit and then hit it one or two more times so we don't have these big old bubblies in it. And by bubblies, you just mean that? I mean, like globs yeah. of soap. Uh, you probably can't tell because it's a video, but I mean, it, it literally is starting to get hard pretty quick. And now I'm not trying to swirl it or do anything artistic. I'm just trying to. She just wants it to be smooth. Well, I do, and I and sometimes we wind up with bigger bars in the middle and smaller bars in the outside edge, and I don't know how we try not to. So I'm trying now to. Push, push it over in the corners, and it doesn't want to push. Is it sticking to the spatula? Yeah, it is, I know. So I'll just do that. And it goes. You kind of line it up with the outside edges, and then just push it down. And there's your batch of soap. And this stuff smells really amazingly good yes all right there's that and then i'll put this over here and then what we'll do now is take our little this one we call and, this one the magic spatula yeah and it just so we just scrape it all off and mush it together and make us make us a little bar of soap so I'll, I'll do that, and then we'll come back in a, just a second, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, and here is the bonus bar, literally bar, ball, whatever, of the soap. And this is like, that's one leftover from, I think that was Amazing Amazingly Grace. Grace, yeah. So that's what's scraped, and this thing is scraped pretty clean. So this is just one that we use ourselves. So that's it, and we will unveil it tomorrow. Uh, all right, maybe... 
All right, so I'm starting to clean up. And you can see it's soap. This is just left from, from what I was just doing two seconds ago. So we we can we could use this right now. It's soap it's, and it smells good. Oh, so good. Yeah. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, we are back and uh, we are. Uh, this is. It's actually been about three days. We did it on what Thursday. Thursday. So it's been Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and today's Monday. So yeah. it's 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 cool. It's very cool. And that's how silicone, silicone what? comes out of the, well, how soap comes, it's sticky. Yeah. All right. Let's see, this should be pretty quick. Just just leaving it in there longer makes it easier, doesn't it? More or less. <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm not the one pushing it. It's still a little bit. Okay, but it should pop out pretty quick. Yeah. And you can see we have our little green and our yellow and it smells. Hey Artie, we're filming over here so. I know you don't but we don't need you doing any. <laughs> yeah. It's part of life. Yeah. I know honey. I know. Anyway. What I do is my other trick. Yeah, don't do that. No more tricks. Uh, so anyway, so they're, they're going to look all pretty much the same. Those are our orange rosemary, goat's milk and honey, goat's milk and, honey and silk, and anything else. And uh, we also put then, uh, oh, but, uh, yeah, see, you said, this, said it this time. <laughs> I know, I always say it. So that's it, and next time you see, uh, next, next thing you'll see are the final shots. Thank you. Thank you for watching.